good afternoon everybody two topic sort of video um, the first topic I just want to get out of the way because it really wasn't worth making an entire video about concerning my being featured on YouTube drama now this YouTube drama website which I thought was kind of a like a well-known website sort of a reputable or whatever run by this Trevor Rieger guy he just looks like the epitome of douchebaggery. Like, like if you picture douchebag, you picture a guy that looks a little bit like Trevor Rieger. And I go over to the page to see the video and read my article and all of that shit. And it was the most disappointing shit ever. Maybe I was wrong. Or is it a well-known website? Or, I mean, is this the kind of, like, third-rate bullshit that I, I could expect from YouTube drama in the future? Um, basically the insults were lazy as fuck and just incredibly unwitty and just Sarah Hahn shoots from the nose up he's got long hair and he smokes too many cigarettes I mean that was it wow I, I was incredibly unimpressed but I guess you guys can watch it if you want it's over there in the sidebar YouTube drama I just gave you a shout out okay you owe me now so on to the actual topic of this video thanks again to my good friend Tommy from the Bronx I, I got to see a yoke up video and before you tell me yeah I know it was a fucking mistake alright it's my own goddamn fault I did it sorry now in this yoke up video the basic gist of it is he's talking about leaving YouTube because you know uh, there's just so much evil around here and he's getting so much criticism and the Lord put it on his heart to just take a break and get the fuck away. Like, this is a guy that's been handed his hat 28,000 fucking times on YouTube. And, and Jeff, you're just now leaving because you don't think anybody's going to take you seriously? Nobody's ever taking you fucking seriously. You're a joke. Man, you're an asshole. And I'm glad to see you go. I mean, you have spent all of your time on YouTube shitting on other people. Anybody that disagreed with you in, in like the least little fucking way you've shit on him and, and then your game is shit on people and then act like it didn't happen when they retaliate and play the victim that's been your whole game the whole fucking time you've been on YouTube you're an asshole but uh, there was something in your video that I, I found incredibly interesting you, you mentioned a comment that the user Kelso Fabulous left on your thank you fairy channel page now, for those of you who don't know, the Thank You Fairy channel page was probably a tribute to Yokup's daughter who passed away. And basically, Kelso left a comment uh, about the Thank You Fairy. I, I don't know what the fuck it was. It, the way you quoted it, it was just really... I, I don't know how accurate it was what you said. But I got to thinking about this Thank You Fairy story that you like to tell on YouTube, Jeff, uh, about, um, it's not about the death of your daughter, it's it's about an experience that you had with her while she was alive, and then you explain that she died, and yada, yada, yada. The more I think about the way you share that story, the more I have this thought, and I want the rest of you to tell me if I'm out of line, or if you think I might be onto something here. You see, Jeff, I think that you've turned your daughter and her death into a propaganda tool to use on people on YouTube and elsewhere. You, you stop people on the, on the street to tell them this thank you fairy story. Have you really turned your daughter into like a like the jumping off point to introduce people to your ministry? You're marketing the death of your fucking daughter. That, that's all you've done on YouTube. I mean, could you be more disrespectful to the person that's passed away? Uh, <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, to me, that's disrespectful as fuck. I mean, did it ever occur to you maybe, just maybe, your daughter wouldn't have wanted to be included in the bullshit that you're engaged in? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm out of line here, but I, I think it's really fucking disrespectful. And it reminds me... It really does remind me of this whole that, that whole thing with Galen and, and his friend that committed suicide and how he exploited the death of his friend to make somebody else look bad and to 
pull at the strings of everyone's heart and, you know, prey on the sympathy of, of you know, an audience to sort of gain favor. I mean, seriously, is it me or is that type of shit just fucking disrespectful and disgusting? Really, I think, Jeff, that's really all you've done. With the memory of your daughter, you've turned it into a fucking tool. A marketing device. I've lost family members too, Jeff. I, I've lost very close friends also. And, and I can't picture myself making a fucking video talking about the friend, you know, the friends I've lost, friends of mine that are, like, deceased, and, like, trying to prey on the emotions of people to sort of, like, prepare them for the real message that I'm about to put across, you know, I mean, that, that type of shit is sick. No, but anyway, I'm glad to see you fucking go. I, I, re I really hope you close your goddamn YouTube channel. Nothing would make me happier than to know that you're not around anymore. I mean, fuck off, nobody wants you, go somewhere else. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the matter. To the rest of you, though, peace.